Okay, first things first, let's talk about the foundation of our striking. It is our stance. We're gonna build this from the ground up. If you have a good stance, everything seems to flow more naturally and easier. You cannot build on a weak foundation. Let's start here. So feet, what do I do with my feet? We're gonna have them shoulder width apart. Sometimes they could go a little bit outside or a little bit more narrow. It depends on you. I just wanna find balance. All I want you to do is find balance here. I should be able to explode. That's a good start. I'm gonna take my right foot. Bring it back. If you are southpaw or right foot lead, just mirror image, flip this in reverse. I'm gonna bend my legs, nice and relaxed. I should be able to transfer weight. I can't be all stiff out here. I need to be nice, loose and relaxed. Kind of like if I were to jump in the air, I should be able to absorb the uh, weight. And that's where we should be at, not too stiff. I see too many guys when we teach this stance to they're stiff. And the reason I'm gonna teach you the generic default stance is so that you can get to your offense and defense equally. This is a great stance for a beginner. It's also a great stance for an, an expert or somebody who's advanced. So day one is uh, just as important on day 100,000. And spoiler alert, we do not get to day 100,000. So I'm here, legs in position. Back foot is at a 45 degree angle. I am putting 50% of my weight into my back leg, 50% of my weight into my lead leg. I am not hinged at the hip, but is not out, okay? So I see this a lot. People, when they're starting, it's crazy. You know, I see this every day. So I see this a lot, like your back hurt, your hip was thrown out. So please do not stand like this. So if I'm giving you the side profile, nice and relaxed. Do not give the person an easy uh, up kick or an uppercut, none of that. Don't give them easy shots like that, please. I'm here. I'm gonna have my left shoulder in the front. Nice and relaxed here. Shoulders are even. I'm going to have my hands nice and loose, shoulders relaxed, but make sure with the elbows, they're not building this shelf. They are protecting the rib cage, all the vital areas. Hands are gonna be outside of my face, okay? Not here, I'm not praying. Uh, notice too, I, I like to have these hands a little bit ahead because we're actively using them for controls, for defense. Like I said, I'm in a neutral position. I'm able to access my offense and my defense simultaneously. Chin's gonna be tucked. I'm hiding behind my shoulders. So a good way to practice relaxed shoulders is chin nice and relaxed, eyes up. Then you move your hands up, usually bringing your head into your hands by bending the legs. Chin's relaxed, but it's tucked. Shoulders not stiff, please. Loose. I'm here. Notice my stance. Nice and balanced. 50%, 50%. I look like a crocodile on the hunt. Notice that. Chin's tucked, hands high. Loose, relaxed. So this is my generic default stance. I can attack. I'm able to kick. And a lot of people ask me, what do I do with this lead leg? For me personally, I angle this one out too because I can easily step into my kick. I can easily check. People say, what about the inside kick? I could still block that. I could pull my leg out. So you have a lot of options and I'm gonna detail these in the future. This is the default stance. This is the generic stance. And I highly recommend you use this if you are a beginner or if you're advanced and you just want a really solid stance to be in.